These sneakers really should not be under retail. Hey everybody, I'm Actros and welcome back to the Show Me channel, the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and streetwear. Today we're kicking it back with some more cheap ass sneaker deals. I got another list of five sneakers that are going below retail that I definitely think that should not go below retail. So before we get into it, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's get right into it. All right, so the first sneaker on this list, we have the Nike Dunk Low Photon Dust. Now, this is basically the Gray Fogs, but in women's sizes and a tad bit lighter. And I don't know why this is going on the retail when the Gray Fogs aren't going on the retail. They're all going above retail for resale sizes. And those shoes are clearly the superior shoe to the Panda Dunks like these ones as well. Now, I know not every shoe is going below retail. I know it's just only a select sizes, but still, come on. This should not be on StockX below retail sneaker. This sneaker should be a lot more hype. And also, this sneaker came out about two years ago now. And I know there's been restocks and stuff, but I think the prices definitely should have risen by then. And also, it's a really good sneaker for y'all gals out there or guys who have really tiny feet. Anyways, the Nike Photon does not a bad way to start off this list. I would definitely get these pair before they go any higher. I mean, look at that. We just witnessed the last sale price go from $110 to $99. I mean, they're just going down more in value. Kind of crazy. Anyways, next sneaker on this list is the Nike Dunk Low Polar Blue. Now, normally blue Nike Dunks do really well, but this one didn't. And I don't really know why. Maybe because the polar blue just wasn't right. Or maybe these things are going on the retail because the retail was actually a little bit higher than normal. $115. What's with that? These sneakers also came out recently and resale is still going for the majority of sizes on the retail. And this is kind of like a poor man's UNC. You know, you couldn't get the UNC missed out on them. Get the polar blues. You know, they're just as nice. I mean, maybe this shade of blue may not be your cup of tea and you prefer the UNC blue, but this one, it's not a bad blue at all either. I honestly thought that this sneaker would do a lot better, maybe in the $200 range. It's actually kind of crazy that they're going below retail. I just think that's also probably due to like the hype of sneakers are kind of down right now, as well as the stock of sneakers are so freaking high. I mean, they just give crazy stock to sneakers nowadays. But uh, yeah, definitely a very underrated dunk. I mean, just look how much the UNC dunks are going for still, man. They're still going for like $300. That's freaking insane. And these dunks are also nice and blue, and they're going for under $100. That's like a $200 difference just for a different shade of blue. That's that's stupid. All right, our next sneaker on this list is the Jordan 1 Satin Bridge. You guys got to be freaking kidding me that this sneaker is going on the retail. I mean, look at that. Last sale, $116 for a bread colorway Jordan 1. If you guys lost your freaking minds, I get that it's a women's sizes, but look how much the size range went up to. Now, I know that this is a women's shoe and they didn't make it for everybody, but holy crap, man. I mean, look at this. This shoe retailed for $180 and not a single one of them are going for that much or even close. What's it get for a bread colorway? A satin bread colorway too. That is really nice. I would honestly say this is one of the better sneakers of the year. I mean, has the sneaker market really fell off that much, man? Where, like, you could have reached an OG colorway and it does not do well? Crazy. Crazy. Couldn't believe it. Still can't believe it. What is, what, what's happening, man? And I had the same gripe on my last list with the Jordan 1 Royals. And I think the Jordan 1 Royals are actually doing better than this one. Eh, they're actually doing just about the same, but still... It's just nuts, man. Have Jordan 1 starting to fall off too or something and dunks are completely just like the only shoe people want right now? I don't know. I don't understand it. Comment down below what you guys think. Is this sneaker really just on the retail because it was just in women's sizes and maybe the satin is not for everybody? Because I'm finding that hard to believe. All right, the next sneaker on this list is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Carbon Belugas. Yeezy 350s are kind of dead now. I mean, you can kind of look at the sneakers below this. Right now, the Easy Bone, the Easy Salt, the Linen, you know, they're all going for about retail. But come on, guys, this was like a really dope colorway. Normally, they kind of took the Easy Belugas and made them better. You know, they always, the Easy Beluga was always known to be like the ugly duckling of the Easy lineup. But this one seemed to have fixed those problems and kind of made it a nicer shoe. And if this same sneaker would have released like three years ago, oh my God, the resale would have been ridiculous absolutely nuts and it just goes to show you that the yeezy market is pretty much dead like you could release a very hype color like this 
and the resale is just not as good, man. It's not as good. I mean, look how well the old Yeezy Belugas did. All right, this one came back 2016, and these shoes are still going for like $500 to $600 in certain sizes. That's freaking nuts. And then you look at this sneaker, arguably a better sneaker, and it's going for way less, like a $300 discount for basically the same shoe. You get the same comfort and everything and arguably better styling. That's just nuts. That's what what is wrong. What is wrong with the sneaker market? Is the economy really that bad? I mean, once again, it just ain't what it used to be. I think that's what it really comes down to. And then the last sneaker on this list, we have the Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. Damn, man. Damn, the Lucky Greens, the taxis. I mean, just so many sneakers had just fell off. I think Jordan 1s are almost done for now, just like the Yeezys. What's crazy, this one is going below retail, but this one is doing better resale-wise than the Jordan 1 Satin Breads and the Jordan 1 Royals. And this is not even like an OG colorway or anything like that. It's just the Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. Like, why? I don't get it. I just, I just, I just don't get it. Is it, is it because this one is different, unique or something? But that's normally not how it works. I don't understand. I mean, it's a great sneaker. Don't get me wrong. It's a great sneaker. And this is why it's on this list. It's a great sneaker going below retail. It's just weird how this one is doing better than like the OG releases. And this one is just a non-OG shoe being re-released and it's doing better. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's weird, but you know, fuck it. You know, you guys are getting a great discount for all these sneakers. Honestly, could have put a lot more sneakers on this list and comment down below more sneakers that you guys think that should be on this list. But I think that honestly should wrap up this list. And the more I think about it, the more crazy things are becoming, man. Just a couple years ago, sneakers were absolutely freaking booming, especially during the COVID time. People were paying absolutely absurd prices for sneakers. And now since supply chain has returned and the demand is just less, it's just... I wonder if it'll ever return to the state that it was before because it was like from like... Post-COVID to pre-COVID, sneakers were just on fire, man. On fire with Yeezy, Jordan 1s, Jordan 11, Jordan 12s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 3s, man. Just getting insane resale prices and stuff like that. And then now, post-COVID and now beyond that, and what's returned is we just go to sneakers and just search up most popular. All we have is still some Jordan 11s, Yeezy slides. Pandas and Photon Dust and Gray Fox. These these are our top sneakers right now. And you keep scrolling down, all you see is just dunks, 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 and a lot of Uggs right now because it's winter time. But dunks, dunks, Jordan Fours here and there. And that's really about it. And none of them are given like insane resale, but they used to. But if you guys enjoyed this list, be sure to like and share for that YouTube bedroom as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video.